when the tapes come out of Donald Trump having sex with 13-year-old girls, we're not going to wonder where all these migrant girls are anymore. Dies in your house. Hey, yo, who's in the house? Dies in your house. What is the word, peeps? It's a wacky Wednesday edition of Dies in Your House on Least Coast Radio. That's Least Coast Radio for the least heard voices. If you haven't heard, you should go to your podcast app. You should search for Least Coast Radio and hit smash on that subscribe button. You can also do the same on YouTube, search iTunes, you can also do something new, go to patreon.com slash jporks and become a Patreon and join the Least Coast Radio community, the Least Coast Radio Nation, we're trying to name ourselves here, I don't know if I'm going to go with Nation or Least Coast Radio Heads, either way, Least Coast Radio Heads, I like that. Oh, okay, all right, that might be it. That might be what it is. Um, all right, so you just go to Patreon.com. There are three tiers, you know, and you can just read all about it. I got a commercial coming up for it later, so you don't have to. I don't have to drown your ears about it. But I did say I would never ask any of you for money. Patreon is not asking for money. Patreon is offering bonus content. The difference between Patreon and GoFundMe, because I'm creating podcasts. So I figured I needed a wacky Wednesday edition because I de- I devoted a little too much time on Monday t- or on Tuesday to myself. Well, let me I'll tell you what happened. On Monday, I felt like I devoted a little too much time to myself on the podcast. And I uploaded that to the Least Coast Radio channel even though it was the Jay Porks podcast. It can get very confusing, but 
things at the Honeycomb Hideout at the Dare Network were a little hectic on Monday. So I decided to paste, post it. <laughs> I decided to post it myself on my own channel. Cool story, bro, but it had no sound. <laughs> so, I didn't know about that till Tuesday night. So now I'm pimping out the one. And so it came out last night. It was called Fucked Forever. And it has to do with the Supreme Court pick. Which I recorded before the Supreme Court pick. But, you know, I mean, I got three words for this Kavanaugh. Can you not? That, that's it. That's really all I'm going to do. Because it turns out, remember a couple of weeks ago when we mentioned that Justin, Justice Kennedy's kids, Justice Kennedy has a son who works for a bank and they lent Trump money when, they, when no other banks were lending Trump money. And that bank is Alpha Bank. Anyway, so we have, we have that, so there was always a back channel from Kennedy to Trump, to, then they were trying to talk him out of, talk him into retirement. Correction, it is not Deutsche Bank, it is not Alpha Bank, it is Deutsche Bank. Alpha Bank is a heavily sanctioned bank, Deutsche Bank is a bank that was fined about 900 no, nine billion dollars or something for funding for laundering Russian money. Anyway, Seth Abramson tweeted it and had it perfectly in one tweet. The one of the worst parts of this is how Trump and Kennedy came to know each other intimately enough that they could strike this sort of deal. This sort of deal being that Kennedy says, "Hey, Brett Kavanaugh would be a good replacement for me." The answer to that is that Trump's is that Kennedy's son is Trump's banker at Deutsche Bank, which is under investigation for Russian money laundering. Now you might ask yourself, Jay, I don't think that's illegal. Truthfully, I didn't read the books. I'm not sure if it is. It's shady tactics. So the, the these are all independent bodies of government. Like, the Senate, the House, the Justice Department, these are all not run by the White House. The White House is not in charge of all of these different divisions and branches of government. There's a thing you learn about in 8th grade social studies called separation of power. Well, we didn't learn about that in 8th grade this year. In my 8th grade social studies... I think they were still on slavery in 8th grade this year in the Catholic school I work at. Either way. Either way. But, uh, yeah, separation of powers. So, like, you can't control the Supreme... The Supreme Court isn't for you. This country isn't for you. This is not Trump land. This is not, oh, I just built a building and I'm gonna make the rules. There were already rules. There are already rules to follow. And to have somebody stand on the lawn in the White House and when asked if the kids are going to be reunited with their parents say, well, if they didn't want to be separated, they shouldn't come to this country. That's disgusting. If they didn't want to get separated, they shouldn't have committed crimes, says Donald Trump, career criminal. Donnie Two Scoops. Guy who literally commits crimes every single day of his life. And it's alright, because all of this, all of these NATO distractions... Going to meet with... He's going to meet with Putin, not bringing a translator, okay? Yeah, because when your handler wants to meet, your handler wants to meet with you alone. And that's how it happens. So I'll ask you again, everybody that voted or didn't... Everybody who voted for this clown or everybody that sat out the election. I will ask you this. Is it okay that Vladimir Putin is the president of the United States? Have you accepted that yet? Do you think that that's okay? 
Do you think it's okay that 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 the leader of the free world, allegedly, that the guy who occupies the highest office in the land, who got there by cheating and breaking laws and help from hostile foreign powers, do you think that it's okay that That little advertisement there. Do you think it's okay that the guy that occupies the Oval Office calls up Vladimir Putin and complains to him about the White House staff, how they're a bunch of idiots, how he complains about the fake news? Let me tell you a little something about the term fake news. I said it on the Jay Parks podcast. We're done with that term. We should have been done with that term a while ago, but five journalists in Maryland were shot and killed in their newsroom. The fake news term is over. We're done with that. It got people killed. It's how fascism starts. And people keep saying that I'm overreacting. Let's do some easy, let's do some Sesame Street ABCs. NATO, good. Okay? NATO equals good. And if you don't believe me, let me just, the Heritage Foundation? Yes, that's right. They're like a conservative think tank, conservative branded group they do conservative things for conservatives so they tweeted something they tweeted a couple of days ago right as Trump's trip to Brussels and Germany wherever he's going today Europe Heritage Foundation tweeted something it says things to remind Donald Trump before Donald Trump travels to Europe and they tagged him in the tweet. You know, to- like how people go on television and think they're talking to Trump. They're talking to Trump through Twitter. Russia is the aggressor. Ukraine is the victim. Crimea belongs to Ukraine. NATO and U.S. troops in Europe serve our national interests. Europeans must spend more on defense. Putin's track record shows he can't be trusted. Why would the Heritage Foundation feel the need to... You know, send out a reminder to Trump about who the enemies are and who the friends are. Anyone else find that weird? Anyone else think, wow, what's going on there? Maybe, maybe you think the Heritage Foundation is trying to protect their investment? Or maybe, are you, or is the Heritage Foundation starting to realize that maybe... Maybe their investment is actually nothing more than a Russian cutout. And there's a great piece in the, I think it's the Observer. There's a piece going around, I'll share the link on my, on on jparks.com. There's a piece going around arguing that Trump's most likely been an agent of Russia, willing or unwilling, since about 1987. Which means, not to show my age here. But that means that for my entire lifetime, the person occupying the Oval Office right now is, has been an agent of Russia. Let that sink in for a second. Oh, Jay, what's the big deal? We want to get along with Russia. I want to get along with everybody. You know me. I'm a liberal. I want to get along with everybody. And I got no beef with Russians, Russian people. I got beef with two kinds of Russians oligarchs and the women coming here to have babies in Trump properties. That's a bit much. I got beef with that. Because there's, there's, they're not coming here to have babies so their babies can have a better life. If they were doing that, we would allow everybody to do that. But for some reason, we're only allowing Russian women to do that. <laughs> and let me just one, I just want to tackle one more thing here. So you got Trump's going to, to Europe to talk with our NATO allies and Putin. 
says Putin's going to be the easiest meeting, bring a no translator in. They're going to talk about things that none of us are going to know about. You know who's going to know about it? The Kremlin. Because if you think that Putin's not recording that entire meeting, you got another thing coming. I mean, honestly, this is the Kremlin we're talking about. So, we got a little, still, there's still stuff going on at the border. And this clown is saying, if you don't want to have your kid ripped away, don't break the law. Well, if you don't want to have your presidency ripped away, don't fuck with Mueller. How about that? Mueller's team's making headway. Paul Manafort's getting, I think he's getting moved closer to D.C., so he can talk with his lawyers. He is still in solitary confinement 23 hours of the day. That should make all of us sleep a little better. Like my bed might be uncomfortable, but it ain't prison. Even though sometimes I get mean mugged like it is. So this whole border thing. So you hear me talk about, you know, don't lock kids in cages. This isn't what this country's about. I mean, you might have this idea in your mind, because I saw a meme that I reported as hate speech with somebody ripping off their front door, and they were like, if you're so okay with open borders, then do this. First of all, I got air conditioning in my house, so I'm not leaving the door open. Am I air conditioning my house or the fucking cul-de-sac? You know what I mean? I mean, so let, we gotta make a decision here. But in all honesty, like, obviously, I don't want Nobody wants, you know, unlimited, an unlimited and infinite number of people coming to America. And we don't feel that that should be a thing that should need to happen. So you can either do two things. You can go into these countries and you can straighten them out, which people say we don't want to do. Because we don't want to get into wars with other countries. Go into these countries and you fix them, or you just let these people in. Now, I'm not saying let's, you know, let every single member of, you know, every single dangerous country into America. But I'm saying that there is a crisis right now, and maybe there's a better way to go about it than ripping children away from parents and then, you know, scattering them across the country like they were, where's George Dollar Bills? That shouldn't be a thing. And until that's not a thing, we're going to talk about it. It's, the policy is they are ripping children away and locking them in, locking parents in cages. They are send, sending parents back and they are sending children to foster care and sex trafficking places around the country. And if you think that's normal, then I don't want to be your friend anymore. Jay Porks dies in your house. No, I'm supposed to stop. Hey, yo. J Porks here, back to record my own commercials. And here's the deal. You may have heard me complaining on today's podcast or a previous podcast about suffering through a summer of unemployment. Well, we have a we have a fix for that, and it is called Patreon. That's right. Least Coast Radio now has a Patreon page. And all you need to do is go to patreon.com slash jporks. And there are three tiers that you can subscribe to. Three tiers you can join to become a member of Least Coast Radio, of the, of the Least Coast Radio community, of Porks Nation. You'll even have a chance to pick the name and all that stuff. And we are talking, we are not offering just thank yous and shout outs. We got bonus content. There is even a tier where you are able to talk to me on the phone every week. And we will go over what is happening in our country. And you could personally talk to me, Jay Pork. Personal interactions. There's a tier where there's a group. You can join a group and we could, it, you could affect where the podcast goes that week. I need a community. I need help. Not necessarily money, but I need people to be helping me out. So therefore, that's why I created a Least Coast Radio Patreon. Not to be confused with a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter. This is not me with my hand out. I have bonus content. Bonus, bonus, bonus content to offer you. 
I have tons of it. I have tons of time, and I want to give it to you. All you need to do is join join us on Patreon. Become a Patreon, patreon.com slash jporks. Look for the Least Coast Radio Patreon page. You'll see me. You'll see me in, with a microphone and dies in my house, dies in your house next to the name. You'll see that. So just go hit us on Patreon. You will get a thank you. I will res- I will know that and you will get on you will have a lot to do with what goes down on the J Porks podcast and everything concerned with Least Coast Radio. It's going to be a big year for us. 2018. Let's get it done.